everyone and welcome back to another impact workout. These workouts are aiming to increase our intensity by integrating some weights using things from around our house that are easily accessible. I know we don't all have things at the gym so I have shown you some examples of what I, of what I will be using today. So you could use some water bottles to add some weight to some of the exercises, maybe some jars or some tins of food. Um, I also have a weighted bag here that I've put some heavy stuff in, um, so I'll show you how we can use those today to add some extra intensity to our workout. Please remember, by watching this, I will obviously give you tips on how to use these items as weights to add intensity, but after this period of time, if going to a gym, um, please don't feel like this is official training to use weights. It's really important you get trained properly and have expert advice from the people in that specific gym on how to use them. So please make sure you do do that. Um, this is not official training for that. Right, we're going to get going. Today we're going to be doing a 24 minute workout in total. That's eight different exercises. Okay, so several rounds of that today. We're going to get started. Okay, our first exercise actually is not going to be using the weights. So I do um, add variety. We don't use them in every single exercise. Okay, so we're going to start actually with mountain climbers. So we're down here, we're going to drive in like this. So 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds off. Get ready, everyone. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Now for a higher intensity one of this, okay, go that little bit faster. For lower intensity, you can just bring your foot in, out like this. Okay, it's up to you. Try and keep that body as straight as you can. Don't let that bottom come up too high. Let's keep it going. Remember the work you put in is the benefits you get out of here. So really push yourself. Nice. One exercise down. So we're in our first round, we've got three rounds to go today. Okay, next exercise is front raises. So I'm actually gonna show you with a bag, but you can do this with two tins or whatever. I'm gonna hold this because I've got a handle, so it's easy for me to use. It's a front raise. So what I'm gonna do is raise it up and down. You could also alternatively hold the sides, sides like this. It's up to you. Let's go. Now remember at any point with this, if you want to just not use the weight and just do that exercise or may maybe switch a, or substitute an exercise that you know that you like to do in instead, that's absolutely fine. I've always got options. Quite like using the weighted bag because you can adjust the weight really easily and I know nothing's going to leak. Really extend forwards. Nice. Excellent. Right. Next up, you could maybe use a weighted bag. You could even just use one or two, depending on the weight you want to use. So I'm going to use one jar. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a side step and then a sumo squat. So sumo squat side, sumo squat side. Okay. Remember good form, push back through the heels and it should be a wide stance with the knees slightly angled out. Let's go. To the side, excellent. Nice and deep squat. Try and keep the chest up as much as you can. Keep it up. That's it. Well done, keep good form, keep the chest up and open as much as you can. You got this. Good. Whoa, that's a burner. Have some water if you haven't already. It's really good to have small sips throughout. Okay, fourth exercise. Push up with extension. So I'll show you here. Push up, now you go lower slowly to the floor. Extend and then up, okay? Other options, just do a regular push up or a push up on your knees. So slowly, you don't fall down to the floor. Tuck the toes under here, raise up. Really squeeze the core. So sometimes using just our body weight is enough to get a good workout in. 
Try and keep that body flat and straight. <sighs> Excellent, your heart rate should be going now. Okay, next up to keep that heart rate going, we're gonna do running ankle taps. So you basically run like this. Now that's the lower intensity version, or you could just do this. I know some of us are in apartment buildings and we don't wanna make lots of noise. Okay, but full on is like this, okay? Let's go. Right, stay with me. Whatever option you're doing, we're in this together, okay? Every second, getting closer to when we can stop on this 30 seconds. So we've only got about 15 seconds to go. You can do this, stay with me. Keep the chest up. You can go between different options if you want, for different exercises. Keep breathing. Chest up, nice deep breaths. Excellent. Next up, we're going for a walking lunge. I'm gonna show you with the bag. Make sure it's done up. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it above my head. I'm gonna walk, one, two, and then switch. If you don't have much space, you can do a reverse, just like this. Okay, let's go. So I'm doing reverse lunges at the moment, holding this up. Now, if that's uncomfortable, or you're not sure about it, you can hold it here. So just adding that extra weight. Lower intensity is just taking that weight away. Adding the walk. You're just working a bit more on your stability as you go. So that depends on your space. Don't let that knee touch the floor. Nice. You're doing really good things with your body, everyone. Stay with me. Okay, going down now. Now these are called like snow angels or reverse snow angels. Hard to imagine in this weather right now, but here, hold your legs up, squeeze the glutes. Here, you're just gonna rotate like this. Begin. Timer has started, it's just holding. It doesn't really matter which way, you can change it up for variety, but we're just holding it up and rotating round. We're not doing it for our legs, just the arms. Engaging our upper back. Keep breathing. Really extend and squeeze. Keep up high. Oh, mine turned into swimming then, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, our last one of this round. This is our first round, this is our last one. Okay, I call these rows. So in a gym, you see so often people use a bar for this, so I'm gonna hold two. Make sure you've got good grip. Now, you should see your knuckles facing up. I'm gonna bend here, very slightly, keep the back straight, ribs in, and drive like this. Okay, now what I'm trying to do here is drive this elbow, both of them up, and I'm really isolating here, which is my triceps. Don't let your ribs come out, keep them in, tense. I'm lifting here like this. Keep that back straight as much as you can. If you have a mirror nearby, it's always good to look at to see if you're bending in odd shapes. <sighs> Stay with me. <sighs> nice work. We are one round down. We've got two more to go. Stay with me, you're doing a fabulous job. And remember, you've always got options. No giving up though, that's not an option. <laughs> right. Back to our first exercise, our mountain climbers. So, make the most of this recovery. If you haven't had a sip of some water, do that. Okay, let's get ready. Let's go. So remember, you've got options if you wanna go faster. Or alternatively, you can do double in like that. If that's what you wanna do, go for it. Okay, another alternative is going to the side. It's harder to do as a run, but it can be done. Okay, and that's engaging more if you're oblique, so 
your side abs here. Well done. You're sticking with me. We can do this, come on. Right, front raises. So like this. So you could, last time I did it with the um, bag, but you can easily do it with this. So I'll show you with these now. It's up to you just with whatever you've got to use. Get ready. Ooh. Chest up, keep that back straight. Good form here is bending these knees a little bit and keeping the ribs tucked in. Don't let them flare out. So it's not just about those arms, it's about our whole posture, especially when we're using weights. If there's any tingles, any pain at all, just please stop using the weights and do something else. Maybe just do a run on the spot or something like that. Great. Please try to copy me with good form. I'm giving you tips throughout because it's really important, especially with weights, that you actually keep good technique and form. You don't want to do it in the wrong way because that can mean some other muscles in your body compensate and they might get a bit tight or something like that. So please try your best. Okay, next up is that, like this. Remember, you could just do it without, that's fine. I'm gonna do it with my jar again. So sumo squat, sumo jump, sumo jump. And we're going to the side. So we're thinking about that movement too. Remember going down, through both heels at the same time. Just because you're moving from side to side doesn't mean you do that and then followed here. Both at the same time. Keep your chest up. Nice, work all the way to that 30 second mark. Good job. Have some water. Oh my goodness. Hmm. It's all of our favourites, push-ups with back extension. Remember you've got options. If you need to go here on your knees, just make sure your hips are down, you're flat, so you're still actually getting benefits from it in your arms. So lower slowly, extend, toes under, keep straight. Now alternatively, like I said before, keep it up everyone. You can just do push-ups. You could, if you're really struggling and you don't wanna go on your knees, just hold this high uh, plank slash push-up position. Good. So remember, make it work for you. No giving up. Stay with me, you got this. Okay. Running ankle taps to really keep that heart rate up. These are challenging. If you can't do this, okay, or it's too high intensity, remember you've got options here or just here. Really depends on your space and your ability. Get ready. Begin. Let's go. Right, the whole 30 seconds we're going to be moving. And then we've got that whole 30 seconds to rest and recover. You got this, come on. Stay with me, we're halfway. You're doing fantastic. Touch that inside of the ankle. Lift it higher if you can. Drive. You got this, three, two, one. That was really tough, well done. Right, try and keep that chest open. I know we all want to do this or sit down, stay up. It will help, I promise. Okay, next up is walking lunges. So with the bag, I'm just gonna show you with one of these now. Actually, no, water bottle. Making sure it's done up, don't leak on me. Okay, I'll just hold it here. Walking lunges. Okay, extra, hold it up. That helps you just engage all up here as well. It's up to you. Work with your space. Don't let that knee touch the floor. Make adjustments if it does. Keep the chest up. 
what's good about all these weights is they're so adjustable but actually a really big variety good job really big variety of different weights actually at home that we probably didn't even realize so okay next snow angels think of those good times making snow angels in the snow so remember we're holding up arms and legs and basically almost swimming get ready this is our engaging our back especially our upper back keep them high up don't let them lower down okay really reach round Ooh. like that great you got this and reverse it you should feel it here in your upper back come on stick with me excellent nice and slow and controlled on that one last one again slow and controlled is better for this it's your tricep what I call them tricep rows here just make sure I'm going to need my water bottles to show you prove to you here ribs in bend back straight and driving the elbows up okay here great hip chest up squeeze those abs still drive those elbows up squeeze at the top it's not about going like this fast just because maybe you can okay it's about slow and controlled squeeze at the top even hold it there and lower nice excellent right remember to adapt we've done these exercises now once or twice so you know if you've got a variety here use what you need okay listen to your body you want to challenge enough but not something that's going to stop you from carrying on okay okay right nice we've done two rounds we're now going on to our third which is our last round today so mountain climbers so let's let's go remember the options you can do this stay with me the whole 30 seconds you got this even if that means going to different options maybe you go lower intensity and then you go to regular okay it's up to you stay with me don't give up we only have seven seconds to go nice have some water next up we've got that front raise like this So remember, you can use a water bottle, front raise, you can use a jar just holding it with a bag. I'm going to do the bag again. Okay, holding it in front of you slightly lower. Remember, this is a slow and controlled one. Get into good habits of maybe not standing with your knees locked straight, just slightly bent at all times. It's a good habit to get into when we're exercising. Get the chest up. Keep breathing. I breathe out when it comes up. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Right, guys, we only have six more to go. Stay with me. Okay. Right. Okay, here. Sumo jump. Okay, remember? pushing from both feet at the same time and go down together even though they might land separate go down together okay nice deep sumo squat okay you don't have to use weight for this one if you don't want to it's still going to work you and think while we're doing this let's distract from this what else can you use next time for a weight that you've got in the house Think about it, something that's not going to leak, that can properly close, adds a bit of weight, reflect on the weights you've been using today, are they heavy enough, 
Are they too heavy? Think about what suits you. Whew. Nice. That's a good thigh burner there. Push-ups next. Good news, this is the last time we're gonna do push-ups today. Push-ups with the back raise. Alternatives, just do push-ups. But try and challenge yourselves. We're trying to progress over time, okay? So do try to even if you're just doing a few of the regular and then the rest is lower intensity option, that's fine. Slow and controlled, remember. Keep breathing. Look up when you do your, your reach. It's gonna help you. Keep it up, everyone. You got this. Nice. Oh, this is a great whole body workout for us all. Well done. Okay. Another favorite, the ankle tap run. Remember, you can go between options. If you need to just do this or this, okay, and you feel like, oh, actually, I can now get back into the regular one, then switch in. Count yourself back in. But just keep moving for the whole 30 seconds, okay? Stick with me. You're doing great. Remember you've got options here. I know this can be quite loud or just here like this. If none of those suit you, maybe some squats. Do something that you can do. Okay, walking lunges. Make the most of the recovery, keep your body moving just very slightly, step to side to side. Right, I'm gonna use one of these now to vary it. Here or up, remember you've got options. Walk if you can, if you have the space, if you don't, just do a normal front or reverse lunge. Front lunge, okay, an example, you just step back, alternate, step back, reverse, have space behind you and you just reverse like this. I find actually reverse um, more suitable and easier to do. Not easier in your workout, but you can get good form easier. You never wanna compromise on good form and good technique. Right, snow angels, and then tricep rows, then we're done. You're doing fantastic, stay with me. Have some water if you need. Right, snow angels, I'm gonna do front for you. Hold it up, great. Remember holding the legs up too because you're squeezing your glutes here. We're engaging the whole body here. If you're feeling it working, you don't give in. Keep it going. We don't have much longer of this. And reverse here. Nice. Oh, last one. Okay, think about what weight you're going to use based on has it worked before. So we're doing this one, remember, here, okay? So if you have a variety, and hopefully you've had a think about some other weights that you might be able to use for next time if you need to. Maybe what you've got today is great, so stick with it. Okay. Get ready. Remember, nice straight back. Shouldn't be like this, okay? I shouldn't be poking out my ribs, that's a sign that I'm like doing this arch. Keep them in, bend slightly forward, knees bent, drive the elbows up. Nice and slow, hold it up. 
Lower it slowly. It's our last exercise. Yes, good job. We are done. Okay, that impact session is done. You have done 24 minutes in total of your workout today, integrating some weights. Hopefully you've got a better idea um, of how you can integrate weights in to add some extra intensity. Please do remember though, that it's really important to never compromise on your form, your technique. So if you feel maybe you're not doing it correctly, take that weight out and do it without the weight, okay? You can always substitute in another exercise you like, or maybe just do some running on the spot to keep that heart rate up if you're really not sure. You have done a fantastic job. That was a tough one today. So well done. Um, please join me next time. If you haven't um, got a stretching session planned, I recommend going to the Breathe playlist now. I've got a few videos that go through a nice stretching sequence to cool your muscles down, ease any muscle soreness for tomorrow, and just help you keep those muscles supple after this intense workout. See you next time, everyone. Bye.